in a universe where life does not end at death. We explore the infinite possibilities forged by our very minds. Welcome to our Thadian Anthologies. Before we get started, I just want to inform you that this series was recorded over Discord. If the quality dips, it's due to connection issues. Greetings, fellow travelers. Welcome to the New Age Reborn in Power campaign. I am your lore master for the journey, MS Arthadian. And we have made it to the 30th session in this campaign. I am a little under the weather today, but that's not going to change anything. You just might hear me clear my throat. Maybe. We'll see. I will try to mute myself every single time. But uh, we are going to pass it over to the batons with our chosen here. So you are all unmuted. All of us, all at once? That all, is brave. Yeah, all at once. Um, I'm oh, passing I'm... the baton over to Arak. Oh, boom. Yeah, that was loud. <laughs> yeah, you might not want to do oh. that. <laughs> um, God. Um, I have ears. Jesus. <clears throat> Hi, yeah, I'm those custom bomb. ones are very, like, iffy on their volume. Well, yeah. it, it wasn't too bad on my end, so. Um, the rest of us are suffering. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, while the others are trying to roll for endurance checks, I am Alien Ovan, who plays a rock of Antamon in the New Age campaign. I recently just uh, choked on my drink. <clears throat> um, and. Yeah, I'm going to be doing some uh, tabletop coolness in the near future once I've done some beta testing. Uh, Fadian knows about it, but yeah. I won't advertise on the show. It's only good form. <clears throat> so, passing the baton to Sai. What? Impersonating, impersonating Arthadian with the cough, I see, I see. Hello, I am, um, I'm Ashes, I play Sai. I got full so I got full named before before the session here, so I am concerned. And I will tentatively slide the baton over to Liam. Hello. Hello. I am Liam. <laughs> you may find me at mixscales or er, <laughs> Don't go there. Don't go there. That that is basically a dead website. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mixed scales. Uh, what is it? How do you say it? Mines. There we go. I did it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gingerly pass it off to, to Caliber. Marmaduke. <laughs> Marmaduke is definitely here. <laughs> I, I, didn't really here. Want to, I didn't know if I should make that joke. <laughs> 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 All right, Caliber. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, oh, Marmaduke oh, is oh. here. Okay, oh my god. Uh, okay, I've got it. Okay, I got it. <laughs> you got, I got the baton? All right. As I try to normally pass it off to someone for the first time. <laughs> what? As, as Are we doing the batons? It? Yeah, we're on yes, batons right now. I would take materialize just to get it in time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah! I have the baton. Hello. I'm here. My internet is finally working. I've I've linked it to my phone. Hopefully that'll hold. He's lying. I better have He's using this, I, a carrier pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, word by word, a carrier pigeon is <laughs> is heading your way. <laughs> the line doesn't end. <laughs> I'd better hand this off before things before things collapse. I threw it up in the air. I don't know who's next. Calber, you catch it. 
bunk. You don't even need to roll a, a check for it. You just catch it. <laughs> God, God, the first will check something. <laughs> yeah. You also forgot to mention right. that caliber is now sin. Yeah, <laughs> that was definitely a sin right All there. Right. Oh god, is it happening again? <laughs> no, you're good. As long as you don't open anything when you're talking. <laughs> Wait, what? I have to open my mouth, though. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Can you run your mouth I, off 4G? Uh, not yet. Wait, wait. I, I, uh... Oh, you said that you were telepathic. <laughs> well, uh, okay, that's a, a caliber... Uh... Introduce himself. <laughs> I am Fulcrum Kane. I play Cal in multiple different series, Adian, and I am currently being clawed to death by a cat. Ow! <laughs> All right. So, Discord did not want you to say Caliber in that moment, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm Fulcrum Kane, and I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I what's happening. <laughs> God. All right, we're gonna start. We're gonna start. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute you all because this is getting a little crazy yes. already. Um. All right, let me get this show on the road. There we go. All Last time. In the new age. Sai and Liam connected themselves together to get in contact with the Benefactor. A mysterious entity tied with Liam, Sai, and Marmaduke Nine. While inside Liam's connectome, the two chosen saw the familiar glowing white portal, but Liam couldn't see the memories that usually present to him. Instead, Sai was able to see them. Then after finding that the portal was blocked off to him, Liam decided to run into the doorway. This in turn shattered it, causing them both to fall into a space where two voices emerged. One being the benefactor, and another being the pillar-renowned scientist known as T.L. He asked the benefactor to send them his way. Therefore, they appeared before his silhouette. After some discussion, a deal was struck between them. The deal being, Liam receives three Veil Enhancements that will last them three hours starting the moment they are calibrated. Once the three hours is up, the enhancements will disappear. But the catch was that after their mission is done, Liam is to go to Vicroniax to meet with T.L., and train under him. While they were in inside Liam's connectome, VX took the time to explain to Marm that they will not have any contact with the rest of their allies, no contact of any kind, to prevent as much of the Benefactor's influence in future missions. Once the two of them had awoken, Sai began assisting Liam in meditation to focus on retrieving the enhancements. What Liam saw was a crafting station in his mind but out of his energy came three rod-like enhancements. Then Buddy exclaimed, it's, it's time! And they all reconvened to begin the plan. Alvora, Arak, and Caliber, along with Liam, Sai, and, Mar and Marmaduke, under the Veil enhancement, bored onto Azon's pod, with Marm flying the pod somehow after learning they couldn't really interact with their surroundings due to Liam attempting to knock a pen from a desk and pick it up, but his hand went straight through it. But Marm, somehow, still was able to fly the pod forward. And that's where we will begin Entry 30. So, in this moment, as we are all, well, you are all on the Azon's pod flying in a direction you see um Caliber you get a <laughs> notification on your codex of the speci uh, specified coordinates 
to where Asla's squadron is located on Thet. What do you do, Caliber? Hello, is anyone there? Can you hear me, please? <laughs> you, you are. I, I can you hear. Are. Caliber. Yeah, I'm coming through clear. Did we lose him? I, I think we lost Caliber. <laughs> oh no, the cat ate him. Okay, well, <laughs> um, Caliber goes over and some fucking reason. Oh, okay. Oh, nope. <laughs> there he is, <laughs> Caliber. What do you do with the coordinates? What the f- Indeed. Oh. What the f- okay. Um. Nope. I think it's just technical difficulties. Everyone, technical difficulties. Um. Caliber is gonna look over and be like. I just got the coordinates. Who can plot them in? Okay, that's what yeah. I. I can. I can. Oh, he can't see me. Fuck. He can't see mind. you or hear you. <laughs> like, I. I can do that. Alvor. Alvor looks over and is like, "I'll. I'll plot them in." And she. Thank you. I. I don't know this. Darn fangled technology thing. Of course. And you see, she goes and begins to plot in the coordinates. She plots them in. Marmaduke, you you look over and you see Alvora plotting in the coordinates, but it's like you know, she, there's this this haze about her. And as she plots it, the coordinates in. You see the location in which you need to head now. Mm hmm. Alright, so I'm going to follow those coordinates. Alright, you begin to follow those coordinates. <laughs> it says that it will take you guys about 20 minutes to get the to the coordinates. 20 minutes out of the three hours that you have. Can I um, push us a little faster than that? Um, roll me a. Do you have strategy? Oh gosh, probably not. If it if you don't, then roll me a straight intellect. Or you could always role play with Sai and Liam, who are there too. <laughs> hey, 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 Sai and Liam. Days. Mom hey, hey, hazy and Liam. <laughs> <laughs> is there? It's a shame a rock isn't here. Then we'd have purple haze. Um, can we make this thing go any faster? Twenty minutes, but twenty minutes is time we could be spending down there. I, I, guess I turn to Liam. Roll me a, str- a strategy check if you have a strategy check. If not, straight intellect. Uh, oh shoot, where am I? What is this? Is that open to all of us? Yes. <laughs> Why is there a sign? Yeah. Badonk. Where are we? <clears throat> I 22 about it. Sorry, I 22 about, about it. <laughs> I, am, I am in searching internally. Searching internally. Uh, in. Oh, I didn't. Properly impersonate intelligence. Why can't I? Oh, Liam, 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 Liam. <laughs> Add flip, expose. I got new dice I, just for uh... this occasion. Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find me. There, there's. Uh, me. With I should t- be getting new dice today. <laughs> with a twenty-two. Okay, there we go. Nineteen. Nineteen. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, with a twenty-two and a nineteen. Good. Okay. Okay. Both Liam and Marmaduke come to the same conclusion that 
if the faster you, if, if you want to get onto this world without being detected or something like that, maybe it might not be best to go fast. Hmm. Slow and steady. Uh, hmm. if someone would like to roll a computer's check. I would like to roll a computer's check. To see what's on the systems. <laughs> uh, Sai, I would also like you to roll me a discipline check. <laughs> it was a trap all along. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Oh, ooh. wow. Okay, Sai, so you're able to go up to the computer systems, and you feel your hands as you go closer to them. They begin to magnetize, and you can feel the computer the computer systems on your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe I shouldn't be touching things while and they're... as this happens, um, Alvora <laughs> is standing there, and she looks over, and, and you see the systems shift a, a little bit, and um, you, when you, when you go to touch them, Sai, you see that it, like, it's almost like you actually check all of the systems on the, on the, the cockpit here and you don't find any stealth field capabilities and Alvora looks over like um okay uh this is kind of getting a little <laughs> freaky everyone I will attempt to knock on the table <laughs> twice you go to knock on the table twice you go to do so and your hand f flows through it hmm. can I um, now that I know I can sort of manipulate things is there a way I can tap out a message to Alvora are you sure you want to do that I don't know. <laughs> she said things are getting freaky. I don't like freaking out my lady. This is true. Um, you were also informed not to have any communication whatsoever. Oh, fuck yeah, you're right. I think about that and then I forget. <laughs> I'm do it anyway, no. I think about that and then I go, okay. She's just going to have to be freaked out. Three oh. ghosts in the machine. Stands there. Um, lamenting the loss of his friends. But he knows they, they're out there somewhere. He can feel them. Um, so, Marmaduke, are you going to try to speed this up, or are you going to keep it slow and steady? Mm. Hmm. No, I'm going to keep it slow and steady. I don't want to compromise the mission. Okay. In the first five seconds, that's... <laughs> Don't want to pull first... Liam. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Liam maneuver <laughs> compromised the mission in the first five seconds. If everything's going great, I'm here. I come in here. I come and help. <laughs> okay. You guys continue moving forward. And then, as you guys get deeper within the uh, lower atmosphere of that, I would like both Caliber and a Rock to roll me to spin checks. Oh no. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> no pressure, but if you fail, the cat eats you. <laughs> no, he, he's asleep over there now. He was EP. 
Yeah, that's why he was up on that. I can find a nice place discipline rule checks, see. please, please. <laughs> oh no, the cats. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's deception. Well, oh, well, not not that's for Sai. Right Sai, you're you're good. You don't you don't need you don't need one right now. It's it's just save that one in my back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ma, uh, it's just a rock and caliber, the reticon of his team. Okay, I got a seventeen. A rock. Yeah. Discipline will check. Discipline will. Uh, da, 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 da. Past night. Discipline will. Yes. 19, correct. Oh. Nice. Okay. 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 Both. A rock and caliber. As you guys are now in the in the sky of of uh fat you begin to feel this deep uh, regret You don't know where it's coming from, but it's like it's internally and externally. A rock, it's more so happening for you. Mm. It's not it's not affecting your judgment or anything like that. It's just more like it feels like you have regret for not not serving buying that helmet on sale <laughs> but one time <laughs> not it's more like not serving Eve more as best as you could yeah he had been working a lot neglecting his family that would explain why caliper is not affected as from it as much <laughs> <clears throat> As you see the pod <laughs> is hovering over all the different forests caliber you look out of the viewer and you just recall your time in the forest and finally the pod <laughs> hovers over a patch of, of land that goes up up a hill top and then over near what looks like a uh, it looks like there is some kind of cave entrance behind the hill and you guys go and land right by there Unless Marmaduke is landing somewhere else. <laughs> Sorry, Marm. Yeah, f- f- fuck it, I'll land somewhere else right now. <laughs> and I'll land where it says. Okay. <clears throat> you <clears throat> go and <clears throat> land right by there. And as you land, what do you guys do? Uh... I think it's ready ready for this mission, guys. <laughs> only As I'll never be. Only Sai <laughs> yep, as... si and Liam can respond to that. <laughs> I mean, Sai si and Marmaduke. Sorry. I mean, <laughs> we're, we're the ones with the cards part. We'll be fine. Oh, you think your Don't card worry. is hard? I don't know, did you have to talk to someone you thought was a trustworthy helper? <laughs> but he just kind of not talked to you? Anyways. Alright, uh, off we go. <laughs> Alvora gets, gets up and goes over to open up the the pod doors as they <laughs> open up into the world of that 
you guys begin to head out. And as you guys head out, Caliber, the coordinates are specifically pointing towards the cave entrance. Okay, that's where I'm heading. You don't see their pod, though. Okay, guns out. Guns out and ready. Okay. Avor is like, do you remember your mission, Caliber? Yep. Protect the three people that. Okay, well, don't don't gonna... don't tell don't tell me what what VX told you, but who said that's what he told me? <laughs> okay, I already go. <laughs> Listen, I know my part. You know yours. Try not to die. Do you need Do you need assistance? Because this is technically not our mission, so... I mean... Eh, maybe. I don't know what's in the cave or not. <laughs> okay, and then she, you see she double taps her, her neck, and as she does so, uh, a helmet uh, shifts onto her onto her head and she um she begins to walk out with you with her her armor all fixed up on her she looks over towards you a rock are you alright? yeah I guess let's like just hang out outside just in case someone comes in or tries to come in Rockness is heavy on blaster out. Just in case. Um, Marm, Sai, Liam, if you can hear me, maybe you should stay here and get the ship ready if something goes wrong. <clears throat> she mm. she just like looks around for a second and then she's just like, uh, okay. As she turns, <laughs> she turns over towards you. Rock is like, I feel like I'm talking to someone. Maybe is the spirits. Can you speak to spirits? I can. Yes, but they usually speak to me first. Oh, really? God, I wish I had. God, I wish I couldn't talk back to them. <laughs> So you head you out of want from me. you head out of the ship. Calibur, I need another discipline will check from you. <laughs> oh, that is a much better roll than last time. <laughs> oh fuck! <Corner. laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good noise. It sounds like something I need more than a 24. <laughs> yeah, you do. Well, it looks like I'm about to shoot a rock in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Caliber, as you're walking yes. over towards this cavern and you have your guns out ready for anything... You feel a little snap in your brain, and you hear, And as you hear this, everything begins to darken around you. Oh, not Every, again. Everything... All the, the sky just darkens up every... You you no longer are able to see the ground. You feel like you're starting to sink inside some kind of deep, uh, deep lake of some kind. There's like water underneath you. 
And as you're trudging through it, <clears throat> a rock. <clears throat> um, yeah. You look over at Caliber, and I need you to roll me a <clears throat> discipline will check as well. Lutheran the exact same exact role. same role yeah which means um, the well, please use disciples know. will if you have disciples will okay can I do disciples will do you have disciples will yeah Wait, yes use, use disciples will <laughs> Nope. Oh, I have guiding light. Never mind. Um, five costs seven stamina. Let me just do that. <clears throat> okay, so because it is rank five, I get to use a D twelve. Yes. I got plus Ooh. ten. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 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 As you are walking forward, you feel a darkness emerge that is stemming directly from Calber. And you feel that darkness beginning to get into your mind a rock here you struggle for a second and as you struggle you kind of stop and you reel back a little bit um Avor looks over he's like oh, what's what's the matter are you right a rock it's the darkness it's got caliber you see, Caliber is still walking forward. And Alvora is like, Um, um, okay. What should we do? Mm. He keeps his weapon at hand. And, well, a rock can't really approach because it's kind of giving off a bad vibe or a... Yeah, so I guess maybe he just uh, gets ready for him to whip around and try to attack or something. Okay. Caliber. Yes. <laughs> you... Hear your own voice in your head. <laughs> you hear... You know... Why am I doing all of this? Why is this so important? This is... This... Stuff, like, I, am I even getting paid for it? Um... And why is this token that Kyver gave me to hand over to Quive? Why is it so important? What's on here? Is it valuable? It seems valuable. Maybe I should check to see what's on here before I hand it off. Maybe I should go in here by myself, kill Asla's squad, kill them all, and take this token. But I need to find a way to get rid of Arak and Alvora. Hmm. These are all the thoughts that are going going through you. <laughs> through your mind. 
Oh god. <laughs> Am I getting paid? Let's kill everyone. Jesus. <laughs> 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 oh god. Hmm. So I mean, how can you argue with that? <laughs> That's what I think. That's what I think before payday. <laughs> Am I getting paid? Let's kill everyone. <laughs> Let's kill everyone. Um, before payday, should I kill a rock? <laughs> Caliber, I like another discipline we'll check as you continue moving forward uh, into this cavern face. Okay, spider, the last one. Twenty-two. Okay. You're still having these thoughts, but you're concerned about how this is going to work. Perhaps, maybe... Maybe you shouldn't hand off the token, and instead bring as a squad with you because originally when you were given your mission your mission you as a squadron isn't supposed to go and f- help free the champion but they want to hmm maybe that Maybe the reason why Azul Squadron isn't supposed to free the champion is because they'll probably die trying. Maybe that's your way to take the token. Let them die on the battlefield and then just take it from Quive. Or maybe you should hand it off to someone else, maybe Azla specifically, and tell Azla not to tell anyone about the token. Going against VX's plan. <laughs> but you continue moving forward until you are now at the face of the cavern. <laughs> Alvora looks over at you, a rock. And it's like how 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 dark? What what kind of darkness is this? Is this like an even more darkness? It's advanced darkness. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Caliber. You Can hear, hear you hear your name being called. Caliber, and you turn around, and when you look over at Alvora, you can sense that there is some, they're very skeptical of your allegiance. Alright, if I speak, can they still hear me? You're not sure. I mean, actually, well, it's not that you're not sure. You you can definitely speak. Uh, you, hmm. Feel free to speak. Just gonna look at Elvor. There are thoughts that are not my own right now, and I have no idea if they are or aren't. <laughs> okay, you... Go to wait, 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 wait. You go to say this. I need you to roll me another discipline. We'll check. This one is worse than last time. Nineteen. Oh God. <laughs> uh, you, you struggle to just utter these words. To, to warn them of what is happening but then you hear out of your mouth stay out here I'm gonna go in and check for them uh, 
Oh, I need to roll. Uh, uh, a rock. If it, if you have an analyze or a just a straight intellect check, feel free to roll this. Okay. Do do do. Um, intellect. Sigh. This will probably be- Liam and Marmaduke. I would like you all to roll me perception checks. <laughs> all right. He only rolled a nine because he's just stupid. Because he's just stupid. He's because he's a himbo. <laughs> Ooh, not much, but the perception will be. It is happening. <laughs> Liam, Perception you're just kind of like you're just kind of looking at the ship stuff, and you're looking at everything. And you're like, you're like, Whoa. my hand through the table. There's, there's, so, this is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sai, you look out and you see, you see Alvora and Arak are like kind of whispering back to each other about like maybe ten to twenty feet behind Caliber, who's at the at the cave mouth. And Caliber turns around. Marmaduke, you look closely. Um, and you can see the mannerisms in which Alvora is moving yes. is a nervous man. Like, it, it's, it's nerves. And you can see that she is, it's almost like she's, pl- she's trying to plan something with a rock. Secretly. Secretly behind Caliber, mm-hmm. um, you also She's notice scared. something's wrong. You also notice that when Caliber turns around and uh, yells back, you can't hear what they're saying, um, but you can see on Caliber's face, it looks like a. It, it looks like he's very neutral. Like he's not trying to give off any emotions. He would be nervous, surely. Uh, I think something's something's wrong. Oh, what? S- Sigh and Liam, you hear Marmaduke say this. Yeah, and I was like, huh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy Alvora, with Alvora's scared. She's never... I mean, she's obviously scared sometimes, but I've not seen her. She shouldn't be scared right now. Something's wrong. She's scared. Um... And he is being... And Caliber is being very, very purposefully neutral. You see Caliber turn towards the f- face mouth and like the the, the face mouth the <laughs> the cave <laughs> the cave <laughs> the cave face he's looking right at the face now <laughs> <laughs> not any other mouth not the cave mouth face mouth as <laughs> uh caliber as you are entering you are getting this feeling of you need to you need to bring Asla Squadron along. You need to bring Asla Squadron along. As you begin to enter inside. Um, Alvora looks over at you, a rock is like... He wants us to stay out here. But you still feel that darkness? That advanced darkness that you are talking about, Arak? Hmm. Yes. I think something's going on. A smelly something. Something that's smelly. Caliber follows orders, right? From who? Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, like, do, do, do we know Caliber enough? Do you know Caliber enough to know that he won't deviate from orders? Hmm. 
Barak ponders this for a moment. He's not spent that much time with Calibur, but he knows that he tends to do what he's told. As he thinks this, turns to Aurora and says, I think he usually does. But then also leads enemies to us, so... <laughs> I guess that's what they call a character flaw. Alright, well then, um, if... He said that he was going to bring them along, right? But VX told us not to tell each other of our own missions, right? So, and, he, and, he, and he made the comment that I don't, I obviously don't know what his mission is, so maybe he's just kind of subverting expectations or something like that, right? That kind of... Um, so maybe if he brings him out, we know that there's something wrong. Because he wouldn't just straight up tell us his mission. I hope it isn't subverting expectations. Nobody really likes that. <laughs> it never goes well. Uh, you see, Alvora turns back towards the pod, and you can see she's she has a nervous look on her face. Marmaduke, sigh. Now you can now you can make out that yes, she is nervous. She is scared. Right, so she's obviously noticed something. Something's up. It's not like we can just ask her. Hmm. <clears throat> no. What's worse is we have our part in this. Yeah, I think we just got up. The longer we're out here. Um. Can a rock try to reassure Alora using influence? I w- w- what would you like to say to her? <clears throat> okay, a rock says. I know things are icky right now. Bye. I will protect you. She looks at you, Iraq. She smiles and she's like, I know. I know you will protect me. I'm, I'm just... I'm more worried about the mission itself. I will There's, protect the mission. Well... It's hard because we were told not to know others' part to play. And you're saying that he has a darkness in him. So I think we... We warn Aslo Squadron about Caliber if Caliber brings him out here. Because he wouldn't just say... No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <sighs> do you think this is why? Why we're not allowed to talk about our missions? Because Hickey Ghosts, that invite our minds, will try to spy on us, just like <clears throat> everything else. I, that's, <sighs> that's probably why, yeah. I knew it. Because... The ghosts are a spy. Wait. They were saying something, right? Kyver, Sai, and Marmaduke, they were saying something about a void darkness here. Maybe that's what, what's got in Caliber? Caliber. Yes. 
as you enter into the cave <clears throat> and you're looking around you hear Caliber? is that you and you see uh, coming from around like well, it looks like it looks like the side of of the cave mouth there is it, it looks like a slit that Asla comes out of and then on the other side uh Viking comes out of it and then um Quive comes out of an- another area they were they were very carefully hidden <clears throat> but they they come out to see that it's you Okay, I'm going to try a thing. Calvert's going to try to do the telepathy to freaking scream at Clive real quick. Clive was hiding behind a Clive-shaped lamp. <laughs> just why they were carefully hidden. Uh, roll me a discipline check. You're going to keep trying, keep trying, but you need... It, it, it's... It's up to both my role and your role. Fuck. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make this one. I gotta say on again. Mm. I was just gonna scream at Clive. Take the token. Don't let Asla take it. And don't save the champion. <laughs> You're screaming this. And as you're screaming this, your mouth is not moving. You I said telepathy. Uh, uh, so you said telepathy, but you, do you have telepathy? Yes. You have telepathy. Okay. Yes, I have telepathy rank one and talent. <laughs> rank one. Nope. Yeah. You, you're you trying to do this, but you feel like your 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 thoughts are not being sent. Back. <laughs> and well, um, <clears throat> you walk over <clears throat> towards Asla. It's like, and then you hear your your voice uh, out loud say, "Hey, we have a plan to free the champion." We need you guys to come with us. And Asla's like... uh, And she looks over towards Quive. And... She then looks over towards you and is like... Wait, are you serious? Did... Did did the plan change? Did VX change his plan? No. I'll be screaming no. <laughs> wow. Wow. Please don't be part of something that I can go higher than. <laughs> um, uh, I would like you to roll me a perception check, Caliber. Let's see. Perception. Christ. Perception. Perception. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Okay. Um. I now I'd like you to roll me. Actually, you know you, you don't notice anything. Damn it. And as this happens, uh, Asla is looking at you, and then. Within a split second, I need you to roll me a dodge check. A dodge? A dodge. Oh, hey. Well, it's pretty cool. Oh, now, where's my dodge? There's my... <laughs> Did you roll a 12? Cause... 12. Oh, no. Let's see. No, I, I rolled the max. I just rolled a 30. <laughs> oh, okay. Um... I got a 30 number. I was saying I got a 12 on the D there. Shit. 
Okay. Um. <clears throat> suddenly. <What's> the caliber? <laughs> suddenly, you get this feeling of you need to move, and you move out of the way. And as you move out of the way, uh, you see Viking go to try to grab onto you. And with that, I would like you to roll me straight agility for initiative. Caliber. Straight agility. I love I love how the first the first part of the mission isn't going as well. <laughs> as At least it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> while this is while this is going on, how much time has passed? Uh, it has Second. been about probably seven minutes. Do we know where we precisely where we need to go? Um, you you don't. Sai and Liam technically do. Right. Technically, Should because they have be been there, they're, they're, you guys are going to the core command base that you've, you that you initially came here to. Oh, that. Are we supposed to be watching this, or should we I go? Can't. I don't want to leave her, but I don't want to leave her any of them. I but, mean. I don't think well, we really have a choice here. We you, have, you guys yeah. remember? You guys remember, buddy? Say, uh, saying that Caliber and uh, well, Caliber needs to need, needs to do something here, and then Caliber and Iraq will be at the base with Alvora. Alvora also needs to be at the base too. So, <sighs> so they they need to like all be there while you guys are there too. So. It's uh, who knows? <laughs> uh, you guys can decide to uh, leave or stay, or choose a time in which you're going to leave. Um, but caliber, did you roll? Yes, I got an eighteen. Okay. Okay. What the f- is that? You got an eighteen. <clears throat> hey. Nice. Okay, they go first. <clears throat> Viking is now going to rush up again to go and tackle Caliber. Ooh, okay, that's much better than the previous roll. That's... Thirty-three to tackle you, Caliber. Thirty-three. Please roll me a dodge check, and if you want to add anything to your dodge, if you have anything like a, like a quick reflexes, feel free. Actually, do it, do it if you have it. You really want me to kill this guy? <laughs> well, I'm just saying that's what you would do in this situation. Because there's something off about them. They, it's, it's almost like they know something. I do not have any quick reflexes, but I do have... But I will say Caliber would probably attack if he misses. Okay, well... <clears throat> uh, dodge. I got a anyways. Yeah, okay, so he, he goes and tackles you down. Um... As that happens, Quive comes over to your head and goes to probe you. I would like you to roll. Actually, no, you don't roll. Actually, yes, yes, roll, roll. Discipline will check. Because that'll probably boost this. So, I'll, 16. I'm, I'm give you every opportunity I can to help you. So. <laughs> I got a 16. <laughs> 16. Yeah, yeah okay. it's like the mission. Okay. As this happens, Quive rushes up and 
goes and grabs onto your head. And now I need to... You feel yourself trapped by the darkness. And then you hear... Caliber! Caliber, are you in here? Life? It sounds like quiet voice. You? You're... You're being consumed. Of course I'm being consumed. I've noticed. <laughs> Why are you giving me a hand here? I'm I'm tr- I'm trying, but whatever this is, is very strong. It, it's the abyss. It's darkest dusk, whatever the hell you want to call it. <laughs> okay. Um. I. Uh. You need to. Do you have allies here? There's two outside the cave. A Redicon and a, a Alvora. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what an Alvora is, but, um... <laughs> Neither do I. I don't know what she does. I just know she's stealthy. <laughs> just... Okay, okay, well then, we need to figure out how to fight this off. A rock, as you are waiting out there yes. with Alvora, I'd like you to roll me a dismal check. Uh... Discipline will. <laughs> so many this session, um, huh? I, t- I did warn. I did warn. There'd be uh, a lot. 20. 20. Okay. A rock, you... I guess I should really use a... Uh, Disciples. Discipline... Disciples will. Disciples will. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you have the stamina it's for it right, 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 right now, like literally the the entire time you're on this planet, you should probably use be using disciples' will for every single roll. Noted. I don't know if I have that much stamina. I don't know if I have that much stamina. Twenty five. Okay. Um. Rock. You feel the darkness flowing out of the cavern and it's wrapping around the area it feels like it's creating some kind of barrier and as it's wrapping around the area I'd like you to roll me a perception check now ah perception P 24. You see that it is wrapping over and across the pod. And Hmm. as you are thinking about this, you think about the moment in which Marmaduke fired off those missiles straight at the forest and they completely like dive like D- diverted from their intended target. Some kind of barrier is being formed. Some kind of prison. Um, barrier. What? He mumbles. What, what was that, Arak? The darkness, it's forming a barrier around this you, cave. You suddenly see running out uh, of the cave mouth. Well, not like full on running, but like coming out, you hear. Um, a rock, Avora. And Avora looks over and sees. It, is that one of the squadrons? The uh, Asla squadron, right? Or something? Are you Asla? Yes! Quive has Caliber inside a, inside a probe right now, and Viking is holding him down, but, he, but there is some kind of thing a- attacking him right now. It's okay. the darkness. 
โอเคอ่าดีอ่าอ่า The only person that I know that would probably be able to do do something would probably be Sai. She looks over back towards the ship. Marmaduke, Sai, and Liam. Have you guys decided whether or not you're going to leave yet? Do we let's rock paper scissors it? <laughs> rock paper scissors. That's no time. We're going to scissors. fucking no time. We're not going to fucking rock paper scissors it, Liam. <laughs> Well, if we had to be there with them, I don't see how separating mid would be helpful. So I was thinking we'd wait for Cal to do what Cal needs to do, and then we go. Yes. If we can be around them, we might be able to do something. Feeling a little useless here as I. Purposely try to lean on the table. You you go to try to <laughs> lean on the table, and as you lean on the table, I like you to roll me a discipline will check. <laughs> oh, I swear, if this is the time. Thirteen. <laughs> you f- so hit your ass, <laughs> and now it looks so, like uh, your the table is literally cutting off your neck right now. <laughs> So I'm not trying to think about this too deeply because we're in the middle of space. Um, why weren't we falling through the floor? Anyway, I, I wanted to that ask terrible, that, last time. that terrible, terrifying thought. <laughs> I'm going to move on and move away. I I would have been fine, but it, it, it you guys wouldn't have been. I um, theoretically would um, have been fine, but also granted. <laughs> You guys, see, you guys see you guys see Alvor rushing you guys see Alvor rushing back to the ship. To you guys' ship. Ugh. And uh in this moment, a rock, Alvora looks at you is like mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go let let them know and she points toward towards the pod. That like what's what is happening? You go inside and you see what you could do, Arak, because you have you have a connection to this in some way. So maybe, maybe you can find a way to help them. Okay, okay. I'll try not to get mind controlled, just like Marmaduke used to. Please, P- please don't. And she, <laughs> and then you see she begins to run towards just... Azon's pod. <laughs> <laughs> Just like old times. <laughs> um, Alvora gets to the pod, opens it up, the doors. <laughs> she rushes in. He's like, "Um, Sai, Liam, Marmaduke, if if you can hear me, uh, Caliber is under the influence of some kind of dark entity. We believe it's the same entity that is on that. We, Quive is probing him right now." With Viking holding on to him, uh, I sent a rock in to see if to see if he could help. But Sai, I I know that you probably like you have powers of some kind. Maybe you could like cleanse him. Maybe I I don't know. I am unsuccessful three for three. <laughs> Let's try lucky number four. Fourth try. Marmaduke, r- Marmaduke, roll me a straight mm-hmm. intellect check. I was about to ask, can they? Can she do that while she's in this? In this. Roll me form? a straight intellect check. Oh yes. Okay. Um. um Marm. Marm, you recall VX specifically saying that you guys are alone. There is no help, and you cannot help others. Uh, uh, Sorry, you can't. Uh, Ethan. That do it. Stupid. Do it. You know what? Robot and his you stupid plan. That would count as helping. <laughs> Can't no just offense. leave a stun, <laughs> stun knife here and let them zap him. <laughs> Break a stick uh, in half and let them sort it out. Also, also, would um, it, there, there is some kind helping? of, there is some kind of dark barrier surrounding us. 
A rock said. I might be able to tackle the barrier bit. That's... <laughs> That's not interfering with... It. That wouldn't be interfering with anybody. <clears throat> Meanwhile, a rock. That might be an idea. A rock. As you enter inside, you see Viking holding on to Caliber, and Caliber's body is shifting around, trying to get out of Viking's grip. It's like, and and you hear Viking say, "It's like, oh, good, another one. Can you try? To, can you hold him down for me? I'm getting tired." A rock. Rock, are you there? Oh no, the voice got him. Oh no, a rock is gone too. <laughs> but it's okay. I took care of it. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, so a rock. Viking asked you to mm-hmm. to help him hold him down. A rock does so. Okay, I easily. would like you to roll me an athletics check. Athletics. It's been a while. Ah. Athletics. As a 19. That's actually a low roll. Damn. You go to grab onto his legs and hold, and, and hold them down, but then you feel them kick off, and he is strong. You don't think... That caliber is supposed to be this strong, and you see he's oh, struggling, strong. and um, you see Quive over there by his head, and Viken is is right now literally wrapping his arms around him like he's cuddling, uh, caliber, but like holding on tight. He's like. Ugh. I can't keep this up, Clive. Come on, you, you gotta hurry. A rock. Roll me another yeah. dis- another another discipline will check. Okay, doing it with um, disciples will as usual. First off, we have twenty three. Then. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> Add a four to it. So a twenty seven. You a rock. Suddenly get this uh sensation like this darkness stems from Eve Moore. Hmm. It's that similar darkness that also stemmed from Azon when you severed that connection. It's a... But it is a, an advanced darkness that is even beyond Evemore at the same time. But you might be able to You might be able to do something about the part that is tied to Eve more. What would you like to do, Rock? Well then, <clears throat> Rock first says, "I know. I gotta believe," <laughs> and then. Start off a uh, a rap battle with the darkness. A rap battle. Rap the rap style. <laughs> rap the rap style. <laughs> His palms are sweaty. <laughs> Eat more spaghetti. Craving. Yeah, more craving spaghetti. <laughs> um, what what specifically are you going to do or say, a rock? To um, start this process. Okay. 
There's nothing really magical about a rock, though. So it's going to be like possibly trying to contact the darkness or something. Contact the darkness or contact something that could fight off the darkness? That could fight off. And what would you contact in order to fight off the darkness? A Mm, flashlight. I mean... (laughs) I mean, he doesn't... hasn't really met any good... uh, Ah! There's got to be uh, Dawn um, equivalents to all the Dusk entities, Mm, so mm -hmm, maybe mm -hmm. he'll try to (laughs) call out to a Dawn entity. Okay. Once. Okay. um, Um, Let me (laughs) let me pull out my my lore here. You should get like a really (laughs) big book so you can slam it on your desk like you're (laughs) referencing the deep yes knowledge. I got it right here. I just need to find the section where it talks about entities. Um, here we are. So, even more dawn entities would be uh, Magista, the beloved. You would know these, Arak. Hmm. Uh, Seer, the calm. Orlane, the justful. And Nemina, the lifted. Hmm. The lifted, the just for the calm and the beloved. <laughs> Which one would you like to try to get in contact with the rock? Ring, ring, ring. Mm. Banana phone. <laughs> I mean, I'm struggling with. Okay, um, it's mind control, but it's also maybe the calm. Seer, okay. I would like... Just to give uh, Quay uh, times pro and stuff. Okay. Go ahead and roll me a religion check, please. I just so happen to have buffed religion in the past, so this is actually not going to be a terrible roll. Ah, 18. Okay. A rock. You begin to seek out the dawn held entities of Evemore specifically within the chaos of the situation you seek out Seer the calm and as you do so you feel a peace wash over you as a hand caresses your shoulder. You hear a voice. Child. It will be okay. Use this peace that you feel to connect with Caliber. With the one you call Caliber. He is a pure blood. He will be able to feel you. As you feel this, Iraq, you hear this voice, this calming voice. What do you do? Iraq. 
Yes. What do you What do you do? Um. <clears throat> a rock tries to uh, lean over and put his hand on Caliber's chest and head, okay. and try to channel the calm. The calm. <laughs> 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 calm down Cal- calm down <laughs> <laughs> calm down <laughs> Do we no he doesn't CGR. It, it doesn't shake him he takes this one seriously yeah. um just like holding him down firmly until uh he can get caliber to channel peace okay now another just one check from you caliber I like you to roll me a discipline as well. Okay, this roll is somewhat better than last time. 21. 21? 21. 21. 23 plus 7. So 30. 30. 21. Okay. <clears throat> Calber, you suddenly feel this peace rush over you, this calmness rush into your mind, and you you stop freaking out about the situation that you have right right now, and you begin to think clearly. And as you begin to think clearly, you are with Quive inside your mind and you hear using my mother against me <laughs> you're 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 not going to succeed you know Caliber Yeah. So this failed attempt that you just did, I will do anything to fuck you over now. <laughs> I can't wait until the Archon breaks every bone in your body. Yeah. I'll make you I'll make sure to save you for him. What, can it give me a little bit of power, make me unkillable until then? Huh? Sure. Why not? And <laughs> and Quive, uh, Quive is like, who are you, who are you talking to? I have no clue. And then you suddenly feel that at the essence that 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 darkness is <laughs> rushes out. Sai, Marmaduke, and Liam. Are you guys just still discussing possibly taking down the the fu- the the barrier or are are you going to do something about it, Sai? Yeah, I would like to in- investigate the barrier. Take a look at it. Okay. You go out and out of the actual pod. Um and as you walk over are, are you? How are you getting out of the pod? And I just walk through the door. Sure. You walk out the door without even opening the door, and you walk out into the world of that. And you're gonna go <laughs> over to the barrier. I would like you to roll me an energy check, Sai. Got it? Or is it not working? There it is. Making sure I had the right stats. 
<laughs> Nineteen. Um, you definitely can see a void barrier that is heavily fortified. Would it be theoretically possible? You're not sure. To open open a barrier in between this barrier and like slip it. through before it? mine crashes, like like a bubble inside another bubble, like. Uh, you're not sure. That's Oof. you've never tried it before. You haven't heard anything like that being done. Um, but you feel like. It's this thing is thick, so you'd have to you'd have to find a way to like really have a strong enough energy to to fight it off. Hmm. All right, since all of us need to get through this, I might have to wait to attempt this. When everybody theoretically could try to make it through. Okay. Are you? Meanwhile, I'd like to prepare. Okay. As you're over prepare here, prepare the energy to possibly. As you're over here preparing, suddenly the barrier disperses, and as it disperses, it f- flows straight out in every direction, and you see the energy flow straight towards you, and you go to try to dodge out of the way, but as you go to dodge out of the way, you see the energy just f- flows straight through you, like it didn't even touch you. Oh. We could have just walked through. Yes. They would have been strapped. Yeah, you, you could have just walked through. If you guys would have taken the ship, it probably would have kept the ship there and then you guys probably would have had a had a fun experience. <laughs> but as that happens, you see it everything disperses. And well, you world look, solving problems for me. <laughs> you look back and caliber a rock you cal- caliber you wake up as you see Quive is there over you he's like I-, I believe you have something to give me y- yes <laughs> oh my god I'm so glad I didn't accidentally kill anybody <laughs> you see uh Asla is there he's like so so we're not going to go and save the champion Y'all can't come. <sighs> Fuck. Kelly's gonna pull the token and just palm it over to frickin' Clive. Thank you. I'll keep this safe. Yeah. That one's trust. That was an experience. <sighs> you need to really work on your mental prowess. Clearly. Jeez. Third time. In one month. Well, I I, I don't... think you're going to beat Marmaku's record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unbeatable, I'm the goat. Alright, well, we have... We have our mission as well. And as was like, yeah, but it's a stupid one. And Viking gets up and is like, you know, we could just still go in, right? No. <sighs> y'all do y'all's part, and we'll do ours. If y'all try to help us, we'll probably just fuck it up. 
Well, it's not not that y'all would fuck it up. It's that we would fuck it up. But I do no. gotta say, <laughs> you see, uh, coming inside is Alvora. It's like, um, a rock. Are you still? Yeah. Oh, okay. <sighs> is everything worry, all right? I'm back. Oh. I'm back. I'm no longer being mind controlled or whatever. Think the Regals. The what? <laughs> oh. Never mind. Uh, Thanks, dear. <laughs> let, let's. Calm. Let's go back to the sh- to the pod, shall we? Okay. And we're not bringing them, are we? As the no. looks over, is like, no, no. <sighs> Whoever frees her, tell her that we really wanted to be the ones to save her. All right. And that we're sorry that it took so long. <laughs> All right, go. Yeah, uh, three. Get out of here safely. You okay? Yeah. As oh. as. Alvora and the two of you leave. You, uh, Sai, you see walking out of the cave is Alvora, a rock, and Caliber. Same with Marmaduke. You see them coming out. Liam. I don't know if you're paying attention. <laughs> I'm here. I'm, well, I don't know if we have it. That's a good question. Yeah. But. Here. Um, 18. Yeah, you, 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 you're focused now that you know that there's, there's something going on here. But you see them coming out. You seem fine. And sigh, you get back onto the pod. As they all get get onto the pod as well. And the first step of the plan is done. <laughs> and nothing went wrong at all. <laughs> Uh, Ever again. I mean, all things considered, <laughs> nothing really did go wrong. Next step. Uh, uh, Alvora looks looks over. He's like, "All right, so we're heading back to the core command uh, HQ, Foggerhelm, and that's where we will uh, depart ways." for me and the two of you and and the other three. Uh, does someone know the coordinates to the core command base? Well, I do. Wait, does Caliber know them? Uh, you weren't flying originally. It was Black that was flying. Oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> would Arak know the coordinates? You know Liam would. <laughs> or Sai. Is that helpful? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It means we know there's some person who can fly us there. Maybe not now. Is the person here? 
on, amongst us? They're always in our hearts. <laughs> 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 who who were they? <laughs> Liam, I'm sorry, I think. Marmaduke Arach- knows everything. Arach, they're, they're, <laughs> they're still here. I, I, I think I, I, I'm starting to believe that they're still here. Uh, Liam, Sai, can you plot in coordinates, maybe? Um... I could probably read it out. <laughs> yeah, um, sure. Well, can uh, sorry, I, I, I'm blanking out the name. Marmaduke, you can type it out, yeah, can't you? Can. Yeah. So I I'll can, just I read it out. Coordinates. The fifty-eight digit coordinates. <laughs> 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 and then the audience starts to wonder why did they activate these enhancements so early when they possibly could have just done it later <laughs> was it by accident or more more or less what we needed to calibrate them and we didn't know if we'd have opportunity to yeah well that that whole encounter took about like 15 minutes so you guys are about what is that 35 minutes in to three hours we got plenty of time. <laughs> Everything's going to plan. Okay. Um, Marmaduke, I would like you to give me a discipline will check. All right. I've got uh, dis- disciples will ready, just in case. Uh, it's a little... It's a little low. It's fine. You are able to connect to the core, uh, the navigation tools, and I, now I need you to roll me a navigation check. All right, navigation. Mm-hmm. Oop! You logged into the map yes. tools, and uh, you now have to make a map check. A rock caliber. You see, in the navigational console, it begins to uh, shift, and you can tell that it's shifting on its own. <laughs> or maybe see, everything works out by themselves. <laughs> I am mean, still not going to understand your technology, Jesus. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll me a piloting check now, Marmaduke, as you go to fly off. Oh, yes. Into the sun glare. Oh, I'll, I'll add a five to that, because I can do that four oh. times a day. Okay. Uh, you are able to pilot the ship, let it lift off, and then fly off to your intended destination. Uh, the time it will take to get there from where you are at right now will be about another 15 minutes. As you fly there, would you guys like to roleplay anymore? Or do you... RP. Do you want to cut I it must off? leave here soon. So. Yes, that's true. Uh, after another 15 minutes then, which is, that is now an hour down, an hour and five minutes down, technically. I believe, wait, 35, no, 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 no. No, Dadley, nope, nope. let's nope. go. That is, clap, clap. sorry, that's 50, that's 50 minutes down. So you guys have two hours and 10 minutes left. I'm sure you guys are keeping track of of your time. (laughs) (laughs) But as you guys go in this direction, um, suddenly (laughs) 
as you are flying overhead and you're getting to the location, a... A codex begins to get called. It is Calibre's codex. Oh, shit. Calibre's gonna pull out his codex and see who's calling. Hunter Black. Oh, shit. Uh. Uh. Calibre's just gonna look at everybody else with a worried face and then just kind of start walking into one of the other rooms. Okay. You begin to walk into another room. As Caliber walks into another room, uh, suddenly on the console, a hailing frequency starts coming in. Who would like to answer it? I believe Arak is... Oh. <laughs> Well, I mean... I'll try, uh, my I want to try to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, go ahead and roll me a discipline we'll check. Uh, what did my... Never mind, you do not open... You, you do not... Your, your hand just goes straight through it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It really does. <laughs> that was only an 18. Your hand goes straight through you it. You know, one of these days, you'll get stuck in something. Oh, like the mag- magnetism? Uh, Alvora looks over at you, Arak, and then she's like, should you maybe answer it? Okay. And then he goes over to answer it. As you go over to answer it, it <laughs> shows a reticon, a uh, holographic image, a holographic uh like live video of a Reticon in a like a court command uniform and he says you are flying a, a runeforger pod yet you are not the runeforger who is tied to this pod but yeah, you are Redicon. Um, were you on the mission with the forger known as Azon? Yes. I see. Where is Azon now? And Azon is there. Hmm? Uh. Now keep go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. The Azon got captured by the Dusk. I'm trying to get him back. You see the Reticon looks at you carefully. And is like, Feel free to land in Hangar Bay A6. And you see... Uh, Alvora looks over at you is like, um, okay, uh, this, that's great. Caliber? Is Caliber's codex still ringing? Your codex is ringing still as you enter inside the room. And do you, oh, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> do you answer it? Shit. Uh, I just please probably no. Okay. Do you answer Caliber's it? Gonna answer it. Okay. Caliber is going to answer it. Okay. Caliber is going to answer it. Yep. <laughs> Easy it. Oh. I'm a little busy black. <laughs> and I have to make this one quick. I heard that you are quite busy, aren't you? Mm. 
It's a shame. It's a shame for what? <laughs> Don't play coy with me, boy. Well, listen, a lot has happened, and, well, um, getting lost in the woods was not a part of the plan. Fighting uh, demons wasn't either. Sometimes it's annoying dealing with you more, Yacht Redicon. You're so idiotic and stupid that you can't even see what's in front of you. What are you talking about, Eve Moore? I was able to talk with her. (laughs) Talking about... Much more than just... Our mother. (sighs) What? When you come down here... I warned you that there was a potential chance that you might be against me. Prepare yourself, boy. I know you're on your way. Wait. He hangs up. Wait. God damn it. And that's where we're going to end the session. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sounds like you got a bounty on your head. And it was only a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Um, yeah, you guys are going to start the the bigger part of the mission. <clears throat> we'll see how many sessions this takes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, uh, Sai, Liam, and Marmaduke, I know that this was more of like a backseat episode. Um, I wish I could sit on a chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Thank you all for listening to Entry 30 of, well, The New Age. We're getting very close to a big climactic situation going on here. And let's see if someone dies, huh? (laughs) (laughs) Murder, murder, murder. We will see. Thank you all for listening. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Go, I, go, I, go, I ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Finished. No, no, no. Uh, I'll say after. Okay. Well, <laughs> but maybe the audience wants to hear what you have to say. No, because people got to leave. Okay. Well, thank you all for listening <laughs> to the entry 30 <laughs> of the new age. Uh, like, share, subscribe, follow, you know, do all the things. Come and join Discord. And if death comes to you, may you be reborn in power. Bye bye. I thank you for listening to the new age come subscribe as a chosen so you may gain access to exclusive entries and make your very own chosen of the core Then join us in the new Expanding Universe Discord server, where we run weekly sessions, teach homebrew mechanics, and much more. Until next time, travelers, be safe, stay safe, and if death comes to you, may you be reborn in power.